Hello and welcome to my course. My name is Alumar and I will teach you how to make a HTML document and CSS style sheet. First, go to your folder and make a text file and giving a name. Anything as you want, I will giving a index. Index because index is a server name is type of server name you can use index it will give you a very good result in index.html file you can make anything but I I recommended this okay and click and save and how to make a CSS style sheet you can also uh, again go in text file and type style uh, style and remove this text format and type CSS and save this okay now you can open your code editor my code editor name is uh, visual code studio okay open with and visual code studio is opening Okay, Visual Code Studio is opening. Then make a HTML format. Okay, I will make a HTML format. My means structure. Sorry, make a structure of HTML. Follow this step, and I uh, and see this, and I will giving a full definition of this structure. First, we make a structure. Then I will explain you what is this mean. First type doc type okay doc type and html and also html and head and closing talk a tag of head uh, sorry for this body closing tag of body and closing tag of HTML. So, what is doc type HTML? Doc type HTML helps you to which HTML are you using? Are you using HTML 4.1, HTML 5, HTML? Okay, this doc type help you which HTML version are you use? And what is HTML tag? HTML tag helps you. To make a full concept of HTML you can use this text for making HTML uh, that's all okay why we use head head is a header information upper side of information which is in which is invisible information which cannot visibility in our web page but it's for dimatic it's a head and now uh, you can also use head a style which is visibility okay and body why we use body body is help you to make a paragraph heading you can use all HTML text in body which is visible in your web page and giving you a result of what you are make on your web page okay so now we are go and giving a link of CSS to HTML. Okay, that's all guys. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Hello and welcome to my course. My name is Ali Umar. And I will teach you today how to make a heading and paragraph with CSS style. We also giving a style of our heading and paragraph. We also giving a style to table and list. First we do this and see a demo and result. It works. Okay. First type H1 Oh sorry for this. Uh, H1 and paragraph tag. Okay. Now you type anything as you want 
uh, I will give you an example. I type a hello. Okay, and uh, uh, type any paragraph. Uh, this course is awesome. Okay, and uh, copy this and paste for uh, for the big paragraph. Okay, I will paste this. Paste. Okay, and now I giving a style of heading and paragraph. First style tag. Uh, you use there in the style tag. Uh, uh, and uh, you use style tag in HTML. I also make a style sheet, but first use this concept this is for beginners see this and next course I will teach you how to make a link of CSS with HTML so first type style uh, st sorry for this okay style and closing tag of style okay, uh, style Closing tag, okay, and use a H1 heading. This is our heading H1 and paragraph P. So I will design this. Uh, first, we see a default result, okay. Save this and see the default result. This is our default result, okay. Now I make a very colorful very attractive uh, very uh, fun family type heading and paragraph so type fun uh, fam uh, family area closing uh, close this and paragraph I will copy this uh, uh, and paste and type P for paragraph and save this and see the result you see the font is changed with the Arial tag you see you can use any type of font uh, you can go to Google fonts uh, sorry for this um, Google fonts okay this website recommend you giving a very beneficial site for fun family uh, developers. Uh, I am also a developer of fun family. I make uh, funds. Uh, use anything, choose anything as you want. Uh, I choose this one. Okay. This link is here. And I will copy this. And save there. Uh, save there save and uh, uh, what what name of this fund there is a CSS attributes rules anything you say you like uh, sorry for this and use paste there uh, and save and see the result you see our font is changed compared that this this is a Arial font and this is a robot font uh, you use any font any kind of you use there also, uh, okay that's all guys and I will see you in the next order hello and welcome to my course my name is Ali Umar and today I will teach you how to giving a links HTML to CSS okay now uh, create a, a tag of link uh, href and rel real okay and type 
which type you use uh, we are use text and css so we give a text and css and href style uh, dot, uh, dot css there is our file you see this file we giving a link in our html file and style dot, uh, style sheet you also wrote this uh, sorry for this okay and save this okay and go to the style sheet you can also open this in code editor name visual code studio it's very smart and very easy to use okay and we go to our html file uh, and i will remove this text style tag uh, okay and uh, i will give this style in CSS folder, uh, CSS editor. It's also called a CSS editor. Anything you want, you say. I say Visual Code Studio. You can use this any kind of programming language. You use this. This so smart and very comfortable and very easy to use. Type H1. Mm, okay, and um. I want to uh, f want a bigger font. Uh, font size fifty uh, px. I think it's too big. But see a result. You see our font is bigger. Our CSS style sheet is working properly. Okay, and now you can uh, uh, giving a color. I giving a color um, blue. Blue is my favorite color. Okay, and close this tag and see the result. You see, the color is changed. Okay, that's all, guys. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Hello and welcome to my course. My name is Ali Umar. And today I will teach you how to use ID and classes. Okay, first we type div. Div means divide, division, and uh, clo uh, closing tag of uh, closing tag of div. And I will type also class. And you want anything? Give there any word you want. I will give it here type and make another div tag. I will also giving a name div, but it's not class; it's id. Closing tag of id div. Okay, and I will give it here p y p s types. Okay, and how we use this? Okay, we save this, and now go there. I remove this, and class first. Our is class. Class use type. You go to uh, CSS style sheet and type dot type. We use dot for class and hash for id and type anything you want uh, means code sorry you don't know uh, you are beginner uh, green and save this and see the result you see our background is green we are not giving any HTML tag means HTML not give HTML one and p. We give this class type, which use in div. And now I will giving a id. Id use hash. T y p e s type and 
um, color uh, uh, color yellow okay and save this and see the result you see our fund is going to yellow color so what difference is class and ID class is used in every tag you want but ID used in only one HTML tag with his one name okay that's all guys and I will see you in the next video. hello and welcome to my course my name is Ali Umar and today I will teach you how to use colors in HTML and CSS okay first we type a div tag div class um, and uh, I've used background so back and closing tag of div uh, type anything as you want in h2 tag simple page okay save and see result this is our simple page and uh, uh, this is our color side adopt color okay and this is another side of colors uh, color UI color picker a flat UI color picker uh, you can pick any kind of color flat colors are available in this website and this is also a flat color website uh, there are only 20 colors available in this website but is this website is so good okay please visit there and I take this I take any color um, I use this one okay this will copy automatically and I will go to style sheet and type uh, dot back this is our class attribute and background color background color we paste there our color we select in our website so save this and see result you see the color is changed of our fund we use uh, this color in both our page so go to there and type body body background color and paste there and save you see our whole page is going to green uh, you, you use this also any kind of uh, any kind of HTML tag uh, suppose we use this in our table this color used in our table so go to, uh, make a table Uh, table tr uh, th okay uh, closing tag of th I will copy and paste this closing tag of tr and uh, and uh, another tr and we used td this is our small uh, small table tag td and this is th a weighty you can say weight weight of our text with th tag td td and closing tag of tr 
and uh, go to the ta closing tag of table and go to table and make border border one and save this and see result you see this border we cannot write anything so write you can Ali uh, sorry for this type uh, Ali uh, Omar uh, Omar M sorry for this uh, salary okay Ali sorry again for this <laughs> Ali uh, Omar salary okay now save this and see the result you see this is our table okay so how we change the color of our table okay we use div tags uh, div class tab and closing tag of tab div and save this and uh, this is our div tags and now go to css style sheet dot tb tab padding we want padding 20 px and save this we use color uh, orange dark orange and save this and see the result you see the our font color has changed okay you can also use a gradient color gradient color and visit this website um, this UI gradients this color uh, this site is too beneficial show all colors select anything anyone as you can I use Superman color uh, get this code copy okay and now I change this uh, sorry for this I change this color and save and see the result you see the our background color has been changed with this gradient color okay that's all guys and I will see you in the next hello and welcome to my course my name is Ali Umar and today I will teach you how to make a borders in HTML first uh, remove this first uh, then okay then you make any div uh, uh, section class div div okay uh, anything you type okay now type I type a uh, heading heading uh, 34 uh, anything as you want and save this and go to the CSS hold I remove this first okay now okay now type dot deb and border uh, one, uh, 2px solid Uh, red okay save this and see the result you see this is our first border in HTML and CSS okay how to make a dot border
type remove this dot dotted okay save and you see the result you see the border style changes it becomes a dot uh, border okay uh, and you can also make a radian border radius border okay uh, type solid and type border border radial to twenty uh, percent and save this and see the result you see our border is uh, become a radian you can also make this as a circle how we make it circle type there fi uh, five and see the result save this you see this is uh, become a oval shape of our border okay you can also hide and weight your border means increase size and reduce size weight oh sorry for this weight uh, uh, 40 px Forty px and save this you see our border uh, size has been re reduced uh, you uh, I think I make this 140 uh, px and height h e i height 200 uh, 200px oh my god <laughs> okay and save and see the result you see our border size has been reducing and increasing you can also make a background color in this border uh, background color uh, uh, 20 uh, oh sorry <laughs> this is a color I forget this about um, this one is okay and save this and see the result you see our border color has been changed okay that's all guys and I will see you in the next story. hello and welcome to my course my name is Ali Umar and today I will teach you how to padding and margin in HTML and CSS how we use these attributes in HTML and CSS and how this works and why we use this okay first uh, this is already we make this border uh, before uh, course previous course okay and now how we margin and padding this okay uh, type margin uh, 30px and save this okay you see you see this distance this is our first margin how we made this in center okay how we uh, how we box pick in center okay so you type 0 auto and save and see the result you see this is a center box this is a center box code we use in our margin tag okay and padding how we use padding padding okay and save this and see the result okay this is our pa padding tag you can also give padding uh, or use attribute padding top padding left padding right padding bottom and use also bottom margin top margin left margin and right margin okay that's all guys and i will see you in the hello and welcome to my course my name is ali umar and today i will teach you how to use a float attribute in html and css first you uh, make any box i use div 
now I use uh, H1 and closing tag of H1 then make uh, a word any kind of word and type H1 okay uh, type H1 and make a border first border uh, 1px solid okay then type float uh, float Uh, float uh, right right sorry left we see a result what is this result okay save open this you see the word is floating on left side and I will make this also in right side so type this code R I G H G right and save and see the result you see the word is floating in left right side okay you can also use this tag for navigation bar if you want to uh, if you want to to make your links in left side so use a float tag and its float tag is used for many things Okay, that's all guys and I will see you in the next video. Hello and welcome to my course. My name is Ali Umar and today I will teach you how to find a flat icons for your website. Okay, visit, go to there, type awesome flat uh, flat icon okay click this okay this is all about your icons okay this is a first website for icons you type everything any kind of icon as you want is there are available and Facebook uh, sorry for this uh, ads uh, this is a Facebook uh, icon for your website and and second site is uh, uh, Ion Ionic icons there is it open this and you see this is a more flat and responsive and beautiful icons are available in this website okay that's all guys and i will see you in the next hello and welcome to my course my name is ali umar and today i will teach you how to use opacity in css images visit this website this website is opacity dot pgs pcsg dot de there is it and visit this and this will generate your opacity okay you see the difference okay so uh, I already make I already make a structure and I will show your result of opacity okay you see this this is the opacities and I remove this what happened then I remove this okay save and see the result you see the opacity is gone so this is a opacity attribute to use in CSS okay you can also uh, copy this code uh, I want that opacity okay copy and paste and save and see the result you see this image becomes a opacity to uh, to change your image 
so that's all guys and i will see you in the next order hello and welcome to my course my name is ali umar and today i will teach you how to make a very stylish form in html and css okay first first type form form tag f o r m form and closing tag of form then type label label is a word that you giving a very very stylish and beautiful simplest heading uh, of your uh, form on top uh, i will uh, see you a result okay i will give you a result f name closing tag of label and first name and uh, now you type uh, input input is, uh, we use input for making a form any kind of uh, uh, any kind of comment box uh, any kind of password uh, password uh, password box uh, you use forms in many ways form is useful too useful for html and css okay now type text go to id f name f name okay if you have a little bit knowledge about this uh, about html you make it very professionally okay then now id and make uh, make uh, any changes last name L name okay and another L name and save this and see the result this is our simplest form in HTML and CS we put CSS and design this very beautifully okay so first you type input input type t e uh, t e x t text okay then wait 100% paging 12px 20 20 px okay paging then margin 8 uh, 8 px and 0 then box sizing uh, box sizing border box border 2px solid red but i don't need this and first and last thing we forget to make a very beautiful bo uh, form border radius r u s radius um, for 4px uh, is minimum and save this and see the result wow good looking form you agree this this is a good looking form um, we forget to uh, make a button so how we make a button okay first uh, br tag for breaking lines input type uh, button okay value closing tag button b u w c o n button okay now we put a css for button for make a styly button type 
button okay background color um, background color yellow border none color white oh sorry for this color white and now we giving a padding sixteen uh, px thirty two px text decoration none margin uh, 4px to 2px and uh, wh what we forget cursor cursor pointer p o i n t e r pointer okay and save this you see the result wow what a beautiful button uh, uh, this is uh, we we should change this color for see a dark black okay and save this wow so that is guys all and i will see you in the next hello and welcome to my course my name is Ali Umar and I will teach you and giving a full introduction of HTML and CSS. See what is CSS? CSS is standard which is set to take over the from CSS2. We will be started from the very beginning taking you from not having even heard of CSS3 to feeling ready to hit it running as various features start to become more widely adopted what what is css and why we learn this css offer a huge variety of new ways to create an impact with your designs with quite a few important changes this first tutorial will give you a very basic introduction to the new possibilities created by the standard. The development of CSS3 is going to be split up into modules. The old specification was simply too large and complex to be updated as one, so it has been broken down into smaller pieces with new ones also added some of this module includes number one the box model number two list module number three hyperlink presentation number four speech module number five backgrounds and borders number six text effects number seven multi-column layout and that's all etc So you can fully enroll this course. This help, this course help you to make a very attractive and good looking website. Means you can make your own website with HTML and CSS very beautiful, very responsive, as you can. Okay, it will give you a hundred percent guarantee. You can learn a lot of things and everything you want to understand in this course. You will fully relax and enroll this course. I will teach you everything, every point, every, every, even full stop. And everything you want, I will teach you in this course. How we make our website beautiful. I will teach you how we make our website beautiful with HTML and CSS. Enroll now and let's get started. Thanks and take care.